Here we have a very nice looking 2006 BMW 318 diesel SE in silver. The car is in immaculate condition as you'll see throughout the video. Very nice car indeed. If we start with the offside front tyre. As you can see you've got a good 5mm of tread there. Looking at the offside front alloy, alloy is absolutely spotless with no marks, curbs or any scuffs to it at all. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, the paintwork does look very nice. No dinks, dents or any damage at all to the offside of the car. No marks to the mirror. Looking at the driver's door, now there is a deep scratch just below the door handle. If we just try and focus in on that. So as you can see here, just below the door handle, I can about just get my nail into it. Um, so it is a little bit deep, it certainly won't polish out. Um, but again, nothing too major. Apart from that, the driver's door does look in very nice condition. Um, you've got a very small ding that I've just noticed. Very small indeed, just behind the door handle there. Both the sills are in nice condition and there's no dents or any damage to the roof. Look at the rear passenger door, again very clean with no signs of any uh, scratches or marks. No chips at all down the door edge as well. Offside rear quarter of the vehicle is spotless as well with no signs of any damage. And look at the rear tyre, you're looking at around 3mm of tread. Look at the rear alloy, slight little scuff there at the top. And again a slight little scuff there. Apart from that though, no signs of any curbing. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle, you have got a very slight scratch to the back here, as you can see, and to the boot. Uh, it should polish out, no problem at all. Looking at uh, the back of the boot here, there is a slight dent um, in the back of the vehicle here, um, just next to the boot lid. So, just here, there is a, a, a dent in the boot lid itself, um, so do wear of that. Um, trying to show you a better angle of it. So there you go, you can see it there. Um, no damage at all to the lower bumper, you've got your parking sensors and just a few light scratches on the back that require polish. Nice condition in the boot, you can see it's really nice and tidy. So nice condition there. No side rear tyre, you're looking at around 3mm of tread. And looking at the rear alloy, again just a few light scuffs to the alloy or the outer edge. Apart from that, no signs of any curbing. Looking down the near side of the car, um, no dinks, no dents or any damage. Rear door edge is fine, nothing to that, and the same to the front passenger door. Again, paintwork does look very nice, it is a very clean car, uh, especially for its age. No marks to the mirror. Front tyre on the near side, looking at around 5mm, so all four tyres have plenty of tread. And again, some light scuffs to the alloy at the top there and uh, again to the one side, but no signs of any curbing. Move around to the front of the vehicle. Front bumper is immaculate with no uh, damage at all to that. Um, you've got some uh, slight scratches there, as you can see, they've tried to be painted over. Um, but like I said, no signs of any damage. And a couple of stone chips that require some touchings to the bonnet. Now let's take a look inside the vehicle. It comes with the full black Dakota leather. Great condition, the leather looks very well for its age. Um, there's no damage, no rips, no tears or scratches to the leather, so great condition in the back seats here. Back of the seats are in great condition as well, and the carpets are immaculate. So it's been looked after inside. Look at the driver's seat. Again, no signs of any damage to the driver's seat. Slight bit of wear into the bolster, but again, you'd expect it really from a used vehicle. And the same into the front passenger seat as well. Dashboard etc is very nice, um, no scratches or marks to that. And the steering wheel is in good condition as well. Now I'll take a look inside the vehicle. You do get two sets of keys with the car. As you can see, and if we just get the car started up. So you can see a service light is indicating there, so um, it will need a service. Good mileage for its age, so 68,202 miles on the clock, and no symbols are paying on the dash apart from the service light that you need to be aware of. Water function steering wheel, like I said, it's in nice condition. You got your CD and radio. Again, sounds great, everything functions exactly how it should. Air conditioning there, and no problems at all with any of the blowers. So, again, it all looks very well and works exactly how it should. Manual transmission, if it's a quick look at the documents now. Look at the V5, the car has had three owners. It does come with an MOT certificate, which ends here 
August 13th, 2014, so plenty of months left on that. And just to top it off, we do have a full franchise service history. Lots of service history on the vehicle. 1925, 36, 42, and this is done with us here at Rybrook Shrewsbury. 46, 48, 51, 52, 56, 57, 61, and the last one there is 66, 7, 7, 8. So it's very recently been serviced, as you can see. It's only done around 